Android TV was launched as a platform way back in 2014 and in the last three years, it has grown quite a bit. And with Android TV boxes coming into play, you can now convert your standard TV into a fully-fledged Android TV and that too at an affordable price. But why should you do it? I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and today I'll tell you why you should convert your TV into an Android TV along with the things you can do on an Android TV and the shortcomings of the platform. So let's get started. Android TV is a platform that puts the entire power of Android inside your TV. This means that anything you can do on your Android phone, you can do on your TV as well. Well, everything except a few things. We can use set-top boxes like this MI box from Xiaomi to convert a TV into an Android TV and that too at a price that's very affordable. So let's explore how converting your TV into an Android TV can lead to some really cool things. To be quite honest, converting your boring old HD TV into a smart TV is something I'd recommend without a doubt. But for the sake of objectivity, let's try and break it down. Wouldn't it be great if you could run Android apps on your TV? I'm talking about things like watching your favorite Netflix show on a giant screen or browsing YouTube the way it was meant to be on a 4K TV. Well, with Android TV, you can do all that and more. Let's start off with YouTube. Watching YouTube videos on a large screen has its very own feel to it. It's basically like watching a movie. The YouTube app on Android TV has an interface that is perfect for the TV. You can search for videos with your voice or use the boring keyboard to type your query out. However you choose to look up a video, YouTube on Android TV will not stop amazing you. For TV shows, we can use apps like Netflix and HBO Go. Personally, I use Netflix and it doesn't hurt that the Netflix app is just awesome. I can just launch the app and Netflix suggests things I should watch along with all the usual things like continue watching and more. With Netflix installed on my TV, I can just sit back, relax and watch my favorite TV shows and movies. Also, if you're as lazy as I am, you can even look up movies and TV shows with voice. While I agree that I don't normally listen to music on my TV, I still like streaming music through my home sound system from Spotify. Having an Android TV makes this exceptionally easy because the Spotify app is right there on the home screen and all of my music is ready to go. Plus, since the TV is already connected to the speakers I have, running Spotify on the TV means that it automatically goes through the sound system. That's all well and good, but there's only so much fun in pre-installed apps. Which is where the Play Store comes in. Well, kind of. The Android TV Play Store is surprisingly short on apps. Which is why I'm thankful that it's possible to sideload apps on Android TVs as well. Basically, you can sideload any Android app on your Android TV. They might not perform well or behave well enough, but they'll run. Take for example ES Sender. I have no idea why ES thinks I'm in portrait mode, because clearly I'm not. Even in Google Chrome, while the orientation is correct, there is no way to click on links because there is no cursor to click with. If you want to sideload apps on your Android TV, you can check out our article on sideloading apps from the link in the description below. You know what's better than playing games on a large 5.5 inch display? Playing them on an even bigger 43 inch one. Just connect a Bluetooth controller to your Android TV, install whatever game you want and let the games begin. May the odds be ever in your favor. There are a number of games that I could have played, but I went with Asphalt because reasons. And I'm glad to tell you the MI box can handle Asphalt playably well enough. It's not very smooth, but it sure is a lot of fun racing on a scale like this. Google Cast comes built in with Android TVs, which means you can save the $35 you were about to spend on that Chromecast. So the next time you come back from a trip and want to show your photos to the entire family, just cast it to your Android TV. Or you know, just show off your sweet driving skills on Asphalt 8. Honestly, the only gripe I have with the state of Android TVs right now is the lean back keyboard. There's nothing good about it. Which is why I'm happy that Google has an app called Android TV Remote Control, which puts a nice remote interface on the phone. 
But what makes this app really useful is the keyboard. No more do I have to enter text with that damn lean back keyboard again. I can just use the on screen keyboard on my phone. What if I told you that even when your TV was idle, it could show you useful information? That's exactly how we'll be using Daydream on our Android TV to give us relevant, useful information when the TV is idle. You can customize your TV screen to display relevant information such as the time, date and weather along with a lot of other customization options. We are using the app called Lucid to do this. To sum it up, there's no good reason to not convert your boring old HD TV into an Android TV, except for the price. And with the MI box which retails at $69 and comes with 4K HDR capability, that one reason is also gone. Sure, the UI is a little rough around the edges, but it's nothing a software update can't fix. If you're still on the fence about converting your TV to an Android TV, go ahead and do it already. You won't regret it. So that was it guys. I hope this video helped you figure out why you should convert your TV into an Android TV. And if it did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel for more cool tech videos. But that was all from my side. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.